We've talked a lot about how important it is to keep up regular doctor's appointments during the pandemic. Issues with women's health are a good example, but we do know many do still have concerns. Brianna Bowles is standing in for Kirsten O'Connor now to ask a doctor how to stay safe. Ask a Doctor is sponsored by Conviva Primary Care for Seniors. One of the biggest concerns gynecologists have is when it comes to neglecting regular testing that can help prevent things like cervical cancer. Dr. Shelley Seward from the Women's Healing Center for Gynecology and Surgery says by getting your pap smear, the rate of cervical cancer decreases by up to 70%. But Dr. Seward says a lot of patients are foregoing them because of COVID concerns. So we've seen people who've had an abnormal pap smear who said, oh, I'm just going to wait a little longer for my follow-up. Um, we've had people who have not gone to their annual exam because they're just kind of afraid, more afraid of obtaining COVID from an office visit than they are from having an abnormal pap smear or things like that. So it's real important for the community to know that all of the healthcare providers are taking precautions in this time. Unfortunately, a pap smear isn't something we can do for, via televisit, like some of the other medicine fields, et cetera. I think it's really important to get those annual exams, um, including the pap smears when indicated, mammograms when indicated, because again, women's health is a huge concern for me in this field, but it should be a huge concern for all women. Seward says offices are taking precautions to keep everyone safe. Everybody is screened before coming in. Rooms are cleaned, and in most places, they'll have you wait in your car rather than in the waiting room to keep people apart. And staff members want to be safe themselves, so they're pretty diligent about that and wearing PPE. Also, she says a lot of offices are already almost fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Plus, Seward says she's not aware of any patients getting COVID from their office. We've not had any contact tracing in our office where they've gotten COVID from the office visit. We certainly have had people who went for COVID testing before their surgery and found asymptomatic positive. But because we're prepared for that, our office is doing a really great job maintaining a nice, clean environment using the appropriate protective equipment and minimizing patient-to-patient -patient interactions. And finally, if you're worried about heading back because of fears of abnormal results, she says it doesn't always mean the worst news. And just because it's not the same as it was before doesn't mean it's bad. Maybe we just have to repeat it. Maybe we just have to take a better look with the microscope. Maybe not even take biopsies or do things like that. So it all depends on the level of it. But the one thing we know is the pap smears are pretty good, pretty accurate, given the long period of time we've had with these tests as well as now adding the HPV status on top of it for those that it's appropriate for, um, just makes the test even better. Again, it can be scary to get abnormal results, but again, knowing those results and dealing with them proactively is going to improve your outcomes in the long run. Now, as always, we recommend you contact your doctor's office if you have any concerns either about any results or testing or about other COVID precautions.